Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about a big update that Microsoft released to the release preview channel. And basically, in this update or build, they're introducing a few new interesting features that, of course, we've tested in previous builds on the Canary, Dev channel, Beta channel as well. But now they're coming to the release preview channel and maybe soon enough to the main release. The new features that we're going to talk about in this video are mostly slowly rolling out, so you may not see them right away if you don't enable them manually. The build that we're talking about today is the build 22631. 3668 for version 23H2. And in this video, we're going to talk about what is new, what has changed, and also what is fixed in this latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the release preview channel. So if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. This video is sponsored by Private Internet Access, a virtual private network where VPN for shorts hides your IP address and safeguards your internet connection through an encrypted tunnel. Streaming services such as Netflix have different library options based on where you are located. Using private internet access, you will be able to watch those shows or movies that are not available in your current location. Make sure to check out private internet access in the links from the description below for a great deal. 83% discount and 4 months free. So we're not really sure yet what this means, but Microsoft is basically releasing some new features, some pretty big features if you ask me to the release preview channel. And these features could come in the C release for the main release later this month and maybe be available to more users on the next month's B release, but that remains to be seen. So far, we're focusing on the release preview channel of the Windows Insider program because this is where we have this new build. First of all, in this build, Microsoft is adding the PC Manager app to devices in China. So I think devices in China will automatically have the PC Manager app installed on their systems. But of course, you know, I've made previous videos about the PC Manager app and you can really easily install it yourself through the Microsoft Store because you can find it if you just go Google Up, PC Manager, Microsoft Store, can find it and easily install it on your system. And for those of you who don't know about the PC Manager app, it is basically an app developed by Microsoft, which will improve or optimize your operating system, uh, the storage, the apps, the protection, and so on. It can clean up temporary files and other things, but it will mostly have integration with the settings app of the Windows operating system. So basically, related to storage, you're going to have access to storage sense and so on. Apps will redirect you to Task Manager, the apps section in the settings app. Of course, I think this is a pretty good idea for Microsoft and the app is not really intrusive at all if you ask me. It's a pretty decent app that you can try out for yourself if you want to see what it can do and of course you can check out one of my previous videos in which I've done a review of the PC Manager app, an in-depth review in which we talked about every feature and every setting that the application provides. Related to the file explorer, if you go and share a file you're going to notice that the sharing window is changed. You can no longer dismiss it by clicking outside of the window. You're going to have to click on the exit button or the close button to close the share window. Also another thing related to the window share window, you can now directly share to a specific Microsoft Teams channel and group chats in the window share window. To do so, of course, you need to sign in with a Microsoft Entra ID account. So a work account, I don't think a lot of you are interested in this feature necessarily. Also related to the window share window, you can now send an email to yourself from the window share window. You will receive the email at the email address that is in your Microsoft account. And also another addition to the file explorer, Microsoft added the ability to drag and drop files through the address bar of the file explorer so we can do that right now as you can see I'm dragging it to another location and I will be easily getting that file to that location this is a pretty useful feature if you ask me I'm happy that this is slowly rolling out to the release preview channel of course if you're interested in me making a video in which I'll show you how to enable all these new features on the release preview channel please let me know below in the comments and I'm gonna make a video in which I'll show you how to enable all these new features manually if they are not rolled out yet for you also this update adds a page to settings and then accounts which is called linked devices as you can see here find repair and manage devices that are signed in with your Microsoft account and here you can manage your PCs and Xbox consoles this page only shows on home and pro editions when you sign into Windows using your Microsoft account for me right now this page is a big bug as you can see it's trying to load up the devices and it's constantly refreshing but of course this is something that Microsoft will fix hopefully until they officially release this on the main release as you can see this is the reason why Microsoft is slowly rolling features out because bugs like this happen and you cannot control them until you start rolling out these features. Also related to the start menu, Microsoft is adding the new account manager. When you use your Microsoft account to sign into Windows, you'll get a glance of your Microsoft account benefits. This feature also makes it easier to manage your account and settings and the sign out button was moved to here from here. I think this is pretty interesting. You now also have the option to create quick response codes or QR codes for web page URLs and cloud files from the Windows share window. You can select the share button, the Microsoft Edge toolbar or in Windows, 
windows for example here i'm the microsoft store choose window share options and then you have this option generate qr code can easily generate a qr code for this link windows will also now back up many of your sound settings this includes your sound scheme this only occurs if you turn on remember my preferences and select the checkboxes for personalization and other window settings inside settings accounts and windows backup then you can use the windows backup app to restore these settings on a new device i'm not really sure why this is not working but i think this is because i'm not synced in with my microsoft account yet but you can turn this on turn every option and windows will remember your preferences and will back them up into your microsoft account related to accessibility accounts wi-fi networks and passwords personalization language preferences and dictionary and other windows settings this update also starts the rollout of a add now button in settings and accounts when you select it you can add a recovery email address if you have not added one for your microsoft account yet the button only shows if you sign in into your microsoft account i think there are some problems with my microsoft account on this device that's why the button doesn't show i need to sync it back i'm gonna fix this for an upcoming video also you can now sign in with your microsoft account inside the windows backup app so you can do that and then you can back things up and as you can see you, you will need some permissions related to your microsoft account to start backing up everything and of course we also have fixes in this build but i'm not gonna mention all of them i'm only gonna mention one fix this update addresses a known issue that affects your account profile picture when you try to change it you might get an error message the error code do x 800 and there are other fixes but you can check those out in the article below in the video's description if you're interested so basically this is the big update in the release preview channel released by microsoft hopefully we'll see these new features on the main release soon enough please let me know below in the comments what you think about this new update if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one this is Emmanuel from tech base until next time have a nice day